Hi everyone, so it's that time of the month again, it's beauty favourites time and this month I haven't really been trying anything too new just as I spoke about this in my last beauty favourites but I've been getting a little bit of an eczema reaction on my face so I haven't really been using too many new beauty products or any new cleanses or anything like that just as I've really been trying to keep what I put onto my skin to an absolute minimum. But one of the cleansers that I have used in the past that I have been picking up quite a bit recently has has been the Shu Uemura Skin Purifier Cleansing Oil. Now I spoke about this in a previous Beauty Favorites video and you'll see I have used up quite a lot more since then. This I've used up over half of this and that kind of just goes to show you how gentle and how lovely this is on the skin. It's very moisturizing, it is an oil and I like the pump, it gives you enough product. Sometimes I go back for a second cleanse with this and then occasionally I will follow up with another cleanser but for the most part I've just been using this and it's been really lovely. My skin feels very moisturized after I've used it and it's really gentle. It doesn't irritate my skin or anything like that. So uh, for reference, I've kind of got combination to oily skin and I haven't found that this has broken me out at all. So I'm absolutely loving this and really getting into using it a lot more than I was previously. Now this is a more recent beauty purchase, but I picked up a new shampoo and conditioner recently and I just cannot get over how soft and shiny it's made my hair. And I picked up the Nourishing Coconut Milk Shampoo and the Hydrating Macadamia Oil Conditioner from Organics. And I have to say this is a really great combo. I love the scent of both of them. This one smells really coconutty and this one with the macadamia, it smells really... Like it's kind of got a really nice sweet fruity scent to it so it's really pleasant in the shower and you get a really nice lather with the shampoo and the conditioner just feels really nice and silky when you're putting it in your hair and it also feels really substantial like it's really moisturizing and putting a lot of that hydration back into your hair so I really like this combination and I think I'm going to keep trying this and I'd love to try a few more things from the organics range. I managed to pick these up on sale so I'm going to be keeping an eye out at my local price line but do let me know if you've tried anything from organics before as I'm really keen to try a few more products from them. Another product that I've been using in my hair a lot recently has been the Diamond Oil from Red Can and this says Shatterproof Shine. Now I have had this for the longest time, I've had it for over a year now and I've only managed to use this much of it. It's just ridiculous, a little bit goes a long way. I probably use about three drops every three days in my hair and I tend to put it in my hair just after I've styled it just to really tame any flyaways at the top near my roots and to put a bit of weight into the ends of my hair and I really like this and like I said I think I'm going to have this for a really long time if I've only used this much in a year I think this is probably going to last me until I'm 40 probably see how we go but yeah it's just a really nice oil uh, you can get a lot of other products which are very similar but this one has been working really well for me so I'm definitely going to be keeping this a part of my daily routine I've only got a few makeup favorites this month and the first one is a concealer and it is the instant age rewind Eraser Dark Circles Treatment Concealer from Maybelline and I picked this up on the recommendation of a few other YouTubers very many people have talked about this so it wasn't really one specific person but I wasn't able to find the shade light so I picked this up a medium and when I was really tan this was a great under eye concealer but now it's a bit too dark for me so I have been using it more as a spot concealer and I find that it does a good job at that as well one thing I really like about this is the kind of sponge applicator I know it's probably not the most hygienic way in the world to be able to apply this to your skin but I really like the soft application and I like the, that you can just twist this and the product will come out into the sponge. It's a really great budget option, it's not too thick but you can easily layer it up and it does a really good job of covering up those dark circles. I've just got two more products and they're both for the lips and this first one I'm actually really surprised to see it making it into its way into my favorites as I've mentioned it before to friends and I've told them I did not like it very much at all but it is the Nooks Rev de Meal lip balm and I just I bought this after hearing how nourishing it was and how lovely it was on the lips and I've been having so many issues with dry lips and I thought you know I'll give it a go it's probably going to be great received it, 
hated it. Absolutely hated everything about it. Couldn't understand it. It was the really thick texture of the product, the fact that there were little granules in the product, but over time I've kind of persevered and I've been using it regularly and I found that it actually is a really great lip balm. It's very hydrating. Obviously I've got very dry lips so for me I put it on in the morning and then I usually need to put something on by the time I get to work which is about an hour and a half after I leave the house or well, not even that. So that probably gives you a good idea, but I do like putting this on in the evenings and it's a bit of a treatment before I go to bed and it's still there on my lips when I wake up in the morning. So this is just really great. It's very heavy, so it probably is better for those of you if you don't like a very heavy lip balm just as an evening treatment. As it does work, it's magic after time. It's not one of those products that's going to show results the very next day, or at least that's what my experience has been. So let me know if you've had a different experience with this, but this is one of those cult beauty products and I find that a lot of people rave about this and there is a reason, it is very good and yeah, so I have to completely go back on my word, what I first said goes to show you there's a reason why you should use products for a while before you really judge them. So my last favourite for this month is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Red Square and I bought this a few months ago. It's this really warm, bright, orangey toned red and I absolutely adore this. I really like the formula. It's very long lasting and it just stays on the lips after you've drawn it in and it's very easy to use. I have heard people say that they think that the Maybelline color driving lip pencils are better than these but I have to say I completely disagree. I think these are much better. I really like the way that the formula dries down, very matte and it's not too uncomfortable on the lips. I have had a couple of other velvet matte lip pencils from NARS and not all of them perform the same. However, this one is excellent and I really want to get Dragon Girl just to round out my red lips collection. So those were all of my beauty favourites for the month of May. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and that it gave you some ideas of some new products to potentially try out. If you liked it, please feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more from me. Until next time, bye!